what's up guys my name is Hadi and welcome to my youtube channel so this is a design tutorial of introduction to adobe xd and this is the first video and very quick basic tutorial so let's get started so this is the interface you will see when you open xd for the first time and as you can see this is the home home of adobe xd and we have predefined artboards over here and uh, as adobe xd is ui ux design tool so we have uh, all the all the predefined artboards of every platform like if you want to design any smartphone or tablet application you will go for this click on this drag down and select whichever you want like iphone google pixels or ipads and for the web designs we have three predefined uh, artboard sizes mm, the 1080p 786 and 800 and you can also design any social media post in adobe xd or youtube thumbnail if you want to and for the customs one if you want to design any custom artboard screen uh, so in this case we have, i will go for the web design let's click on this one there we go this is our workspace of adobe xd and as you can see we have design prototype and share here are the, these three tabs and this is adobe xd is all about and this is even ui ux design is all about you can design you can prototype your work and you can share your work with your clients um, i will i will divide this course basically into these three elements like design then i will teach you prototype and then i will teach you how to share your work with clients so uh, let's back into the design tab uh, now on the on the right side we have property panel and which is very very important and which is fixed uh, on this workspace uh, this is unlike all other adobe tools so uh, it is changed according to what we selected okay this is very important if i go and create uh, if i go to my tools section and select this scare tool and create a scare or rectangle maybe uh, you can see as i selected this rectangle my property panel change according to this layer which is shape layer basically uh, we have uh, on the very top we have alignments like center left top right bottom okay let's back to make it to the center uh, we have size of this uh, shape rectangle shape we have flip uh, it won't affect right now um, but I will tell you like how it's work um, we have rotation so it will rotate as you can see let's back to zero uh, we have responsiveness this is something uh, i will teach you later in tutorials we have opacity which is very basic uh, we have fill layer let me change let me remove the borders by clicking on this little check icon and if i want to change the fill layer i will click on this fill button and select any nice color uh, there we go and if you i want to change i want to add the shadow of course i will click on this there's opacity of how much how darker the shadow will be and this is the axis it's like if i select 10 for example as you can see it let me pop off and this b stands for blur i will change the blur to 20 pixels like this so as you can see we have blur so let me turn off for this now and the next one is blur to blur the object so this is background blur this means that everything behind this object will be blurred okay so and if i want to blur this object itself i will click on the object blur okay as you can see there is a scale of selecting how much blur you want that's it let me turn it off again so this is our property panel and this is all same for the shape layers and if i go and select the text layer it will change a little bit for example i will type welcome to ux flame okay uh, let me make it to the center and change its text to 72 pixels make it center again let's okay. okay so 
uh, if I want to change the uh, as you can see if I select this text layer my property panel just changed according to it like we have text now uh, what will be the fonts what will be the size of this text what will be the weightage of this text if I select bold it will change the, to bold and this is the character spacing let me um, change it to minus 25 like like this we have character spacing next uh, which is won't affect because it is only one line uh, sorry line spacing my bad and the last one is paragraph spacing it won't work again and we have now alignments like cent left align center line and right line so in the next is we have auto width auto height and auto uh, fix length so if i go and change the length of this it will automatically create like this as you can see this is the responsiveness and you will get to know about that in the later tutorials like now i change the line spacing it will affect as you can see um, we have different this one is interesting one like as you can see this is the left line let me make it to the center line like this and make it to the center boom on the next we have um, cases like uppercase lowercase first letter capital we have apostrophes and uh, everything underlined and cross text next is opacity which is same same blur you can blur this uh, background blur you can use object blur again the same thing so the next which is very important useful and very nice to have uh, over here I like that uh, if you want to add any artboard like if for example iPhone X you can simply click on this and you will get artboard of iPhone X and let me go back and I want to add a iPad design over here there we go so we have all these three artboards and if you are going to design any a product for all these three platforms you can do it in one source file of Adobe XD have here is uh, as you can see in these three icon at the bottom left we have library icon we have layers icon uh, which you will be very similar you know, with that layers you know uh, we have like one artboard of this let me change its name to uh, something like home page for example uh, we if you click on any of this layer inside this artboard it will show what's inside this all the layers okay uh, and the, the third one we have plugin icon which is very very important like uh, plugins help you a lot in designing and um, they are very very useful plugins and I will create another video for all the plugin useful plugins which I use and which I prefer and which I recommend to you guys also to use them, them and how to use them okay so let's back to our library uh, th this is a document assets uh, all the assets you will create all the style guys all the font sizes you used and the color you used you will create a, a one style guide of all your design into this predefined uh, sets of categories in adobe xdn which is very useful uh, like if you want to add uh, this color for example this color i will use for all my branding and this is my primary color so i will click on this plus icon and it will add uh, add this color to it okay and uh, for example let me create another shape i will add this color again so if i want to change the color of this shape to this gray one i will simply click on this gray i can do that and it will helpful so for example let's suppose you have all these three arbors okay let me go and realign them okay let's zoom in and you use this color this purple color on all of your designs and someone asks you to change this color and he don't for example your client don't want this color to be in his product so what you are going to do is he give you some color like any other color maybe the darker color so you will go and click on this purple icon in this document assets library and click on this edit and change this for example color to somewhat like f7 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 boom as you can see 
it will change all your purple color into that specific color there we go it's done and if you want to change it again go edit and if you want to test out what color will be it looks better here you can simply change it like this there we go so this is same for the fonts uh, like for example you have let me copy this font multiple times like someone asked you to change this later font to like poppins what you are going to do is you will go and add by simply right clicking add this character style to assets so what it's going to do is it will add all the characteristics of this fonts to this character style library or you can simply go and press this plus icon to do that and if you want to change the font you are going to do is type poppins there we go it changes to poppins and what happens to these one these are all same so you have to do is um, I mean show you how to add this and let's edit click on poppins change it to poppins so it will change your all the stuff to poppins and if you want to change the weightage of this font you can simply click on the light if you want there we go so this is how library panel works and uh, how you can create all the style guides if you want to and this is the component uh, which is a little bit different uh, and which is something very advanced in Adobe XD and this is what make this tool very strong I will teach you later about the uh, components and how it's work this is it for today's video guys hope you like it and if you learned something from this video please give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for further tutorials like um, this was the first part one uh, about Adobe XD basics the next one will be about prototyping and sharing and some advanced features of Adobe XD and components how to create a style guide and much more so keep in touch and take care